Hey, well, it is July the 19th. That's right, July 19th. Ain't that keen? And I'm coming to you from Dudley and Mission Boulevard out here at the ranch in Pomona. And uh, looking forward to a big, big day today. I don't know exactly how today's going to go. I had some thoughts in my mind exactly how it was going to go, but then it turned out, no, no, no. You know, people, it's funny. People are, I got to get that. I got to have it right now, right now. I, I gotta, Come on, hurry up. I'm here. Well, you know, I think we're going to wait a little while. <laughs> so that's my life, you know. I hurry up and wait, so to speak. People have heard that before. I'm going to hop on the 71, which is the Corona Freeway, and uh, head up and get back to Pasadena. And, uh, I wanted to say to you kindly, though, about the cross today, the cross. Um, it's, it's sort of sort of universal symbol today. <clears throat> we uh, look at it and we think, oh yeah, Jesus, and we think of religion and the priest, you know, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And, and of course, I crossed myself a couple of days ago. I was up at St. Uh, Zava Camp. I was up there, and uh, <clears throat> and it does it does mean a lot to, to just make the sign of the cross across your, your chest and to know that uh, you're covered by the Holy Spirit. We're, we're blessed, we're anointed, and we're filled with the Holy Spirit. That is pretty incredible, pretty incredible. In fact, it is the most incredible. There is nothing more credible, there's nothing more spiritual, there's nothing more holy, there's nothing more righteous, there's nothing more glorious than being filled with God's Holy Spirit. And how is that even possible? How are, are our little, and I want to use a swear word right now, but I won't. How are our little garbage bags filled with, filled with the Holy Spirit? How does the Holy Spirit manage to get in and cover this, this bag of flesh that's not worth nothing aside from the blood of Christ? How is that even possible? Well, I'll tell you. Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave Jesus, gave his only son. Jesus died for my sin, the sins of actions that I have committed, the sins of actions that I've never committed, that I should have committed. Jesus Christ loves not just me, but he loves you. And Jesus is able to stand before the Father and to bring into right relationship those of us, you could be that same person, those of us who trust in Him, who draw near to Him, who say, Yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, yes. I want to be a redeemed. I want to have a relationship with you, Father. I want to be one with you. And so we together as one with God can do all things. We as believers who are anointed can pass over sin that would normally infect us, pass by truckloads of rubbish that catch other people. Other people get caught. Other people are stumbling and falling and they can't get up <laughs> it's not just for the old lady anymore i fall in and i can't get up <laughs> remember that that was a funny commercial it became funny because everybody kept quoting the old lady you know where's the beef where's the beef <laughs> that other old ladies do fine i mean what is all this complaints about well we, this hollywood's horrible they never use the old people <laughs> I, there's a lot of good old people. I just saw a story about, I think it's Michael Caine, and he uh, he did the movie just now, and I think he said it was his, his very, very most difficult and most rewarding movie he's ever done in his life. But the cross, the cross,
cross allows everything. It allows Michael Caine to do an amazing movie. And I, I don't really know my Michael Caine personally. I saw him on a story here on, on CBS this morning, I believe, and uh, he's a very nice man. But being nice, being sincere, you know, having a nice cut lawn in front, wearing clean clothes, uh, opening the door for grandma, they ain't gonna cut it. It's not gonna cover the sin that we are infected with. We have a deadly disease, it's called sin, and that deadly disease is gonna take us out. My son, unfortunately, uh, I wanna keep praying for him. Uh, he is right now in this whole mental thing. He's in high school, so they're, of course, looking at all these difficult topics, and he's doing calculus, and he's doing uh, rigorotomy, and he's doing uh, botany, and uh, whatever they do in high school nowadays. They're not studying American history, that's for sure. Not, not very much of it, I don't think. <laughs> and there's no more prayer in schools, and there's a lot of stuff that they've taken out of the schools that, well, we could talk about that. We'll leave that for the, for the law societies and for the, for the, you know, we won't leave it for them, but we'll continue to pray that God would open up a door that, that prayer would come back. And my son thinks it's all metal. You know, if you can just, you can just think it. Just, just think. If you just think it, you believe it, it's gonna, and that, that ain't gonna cut it. You know, if you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. Yeah, Disney's little song is so cute. Even the song by Israel Chemical Kohle, the, the, the song that speaks about, you know, over the rainbow, and a friend saying, hand saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. Okay. It, it sounds very, very, everybody wants, everybody knows in their heart, but to achieve it, to get there, we need the cross. And the cross provides the vehicle. I'm in a vehicle right now. You can some of you are studying in the background behind me. I can't look at it. I look at it from this way, but yeah, I can't study the background. But we're heading over on the transition road here to go to the 210 East, and I'm praying the traffic isn't too horrendous because I gotta be in Pasadena in a few minutes. But you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and Trudge ahead here. Um, so, I want to say to you kindly that we need to study the cross. We need to study God's Word. We need to study to show ourselves approved, a workman that it needs not to be ashamed. And of course, here's the heavy traffic. So, We'll just take it easy here now. Um, I was riding the left-hand lane, way left, now right next to the carpool lane. Uh, I figure, you know what, all those people going here and there, uh, they can do what they want. And that's kind of like life. You don't want to be over, you don't want to be over in some lane over on the side. Well, I'm studying about the, the grapefruit religion, and I heard the grapefruit religion was a good religion, and, and grapefruit was good for you, by golly, and, and uh, very interesting, very interesting. You can study a million trillion religions, and everybody's got a religion. I got the religion of the blue, blue Chevy pickup club. Everybody got a blue Chevy pickup. We're going to be in a club. We're going to have a little religion. Well, great. Enjoy your blue Chevy you know, we're in the we're in the, the the purple Honda club. Everybody had a purple Honda in that club. There's all kinds of groups, organizations. I've been a member of those organizations. I am a member of the Elks Club. I'm a member of a lot of clubs. But guess what? Being a member of a club, serving with the Tournament of Roses. I've had people always like my ring. This is the Tournament of Roses in Pasadena, and I served with the Tournament of Roses for nearly 20 years. And and. Uh, if I ever get a chance, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and volunteer again. So, whether you're in a club, a group, if you do great things for California, Eureka! It doesn't really make any difference without the cross, without the infilling of the Holy Spirit, without Christ's blood covering your life. You're a dead man. You're a dead woman. 
and you're just trying to pump yourself up. You're trying to make something happen that is never going to happen. <clears throat> we can take a look at Hollywood, Max Factor, gyms, clothing manufacturers, hate, however you want to look at it. People are trying to make themselves better than they are in multitudinous fashions. Look, I got a new haircut. Look, look, I got new duds on, man. My duds are the coolest duds in the world. I'm listening to the coolest music in town. Listen to music. Nothing is substituted for the cross. You can't get a substitute for the cross. You cannot get hip enough for the cross. You can't have the coolest girlfriend that's going to beat the cross. You can't have the, the most awesome husband that's going to beat the cross. Nothing beats the cross. The devil threw everything he had at the cross. And you know what happened. It is finished. Jesus declared, it is finished. He busted death in the chops. And he... This is interesting. <laughs> he was able to rise on the third day, freeing all the captives from, from hell, and he is the victor. Check out on YouTube, where I'm, where I'm passing it, Bob. Go and check out Keith Green and Easter Song, I think it's called. Uh, just look around and da 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 Joy to the world, he is risen. Hallelujah, he's risen. I'm, you can tell why I'm in the choir. <laughs> I need a lot of training and help, especially first thing in the morning here. Well, listen, darling, I gotta go, but I want you to know something that I'm excited about the cross of Jesus Christ. It's, it's my life now. I've tried a lot of other things. I've been accused of trying things, but you know what? The fact of the matter is that, that Jesus Christ and the cross is where it's at. And it has been where it's at for thousands, well, a couple thousand years here. And I know they got the, they got the nigh guys that are doing the science thing. And they got the people that are claiming that, you know, if you just go to college for four years. And they got the folks that are claiming that if you just would exercise and, and, and muscles, muscles, muscles. None of that's going to give you eternal life. The only thing that gives us eternal life is the cross of Jesus Christ. That's it. Real simple. If you will accept Christ in your heart, God will come in and sup with you. Let's pray that right now, shall we? Father, we lift up our hand, Lord, and we, 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 we understand that you died to save us. We understand that you came to redeem mankind. And Father God, we accept your provision. We reject the idea that the world somehow is going to <clears throat> have an answer. We know, Lord, that the world does not have an answer. We know that the world is ridiculously stupid and ignorant and that any idea, any hope, any, any straw or stick or tissue of hope that the world offers is worth nothing. So God, we accept your cross, we accept your salvation, and we declare you as Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. I got to go. <clears throat> Call me, 213-713-8954, or that's me, or you can email me at 8954green at att.net, or, uh, of course, you've got the tweet at BobBob8954, and, of course, you're watching Past Name Bob on YouTube. I love you. Maybe we'll see you in September. We're going to have the next hospitality open house potluck at the Casa del Green out above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Love to see you then. That'd be awesome. I'm going to have my last birthday. Last of my 50s birthdays. Love you. Have a great day. God bless.